Hello guys, this is a tutorial for how I made this badass with the biggest pain of C++ video. So, uh, this uh, consists of three scripts, uh, buffer file generate cpp.py and preprocess.py and also you have a template which is the C++ code that thing we just paste generated frames here and uh, first I read the video, iterate over each frame so that they are scaled down and uh, this just writes uh, row binary data to one file per frame which looks like this this is just binary data, we can see that in hex editor and then we take this data and generate cpp and we take this data and generate a cpp file for every frame uh, in the way which looks like this we have uh, a big file which is a bit lagging vs code for some reason so we'll wait a bit let's open this in, in case so that's uh, how the file looks like it's okay, let's start from main okay so we have int main classical c++ function that uh, needs to be included in every program and then it calls bad apple which is just a collection of function calls uh, calls of the uh, function frame and function frame is a template which and how it uh, exactly works why why is uh, this throwing an error it is because uh, frame is a template and uh, it uh, returns an invoke result t type uh, which uh, expands to this e invoke result t type uh, and uh, we have here a specialized template this is the base form which which includes this uh, using type equals int uh, so the, the type exists but uh, then it's specialized for int uh, where this type doesn't exist so the compiler doesn't see this type so that we, we see this uh, template substitution fails and uh, it just happens that uh, GCC print the entire function call with uh, our animation when encountered that bug and this actually doesn't work in Clang because it prints I think up to 200 letters or something like that so this uh, needs to be compiled with GCC and there is no guarantee that it will work in future versions or old versions of GCC so this is how does this make an error and then uh, the expression generating is pretty simple we just take the frame as we have this preprocess so that we can read it pixel by pixel and then until we read everything we print these functions in a expression which is like i times i modulo load and format up, up load. load these are just uh, random functions made up into an expression so that this white space just filled with well space and at the end we add a 2 so that this is actual valid c++ expression which is passed to the format file then yeah, we are just writing this frame and we remember to add some padding so this is why there is this space times terminal size minus width size and you just need to calculate that i think calculate and experiment uh, with how much spaces do you need to add to make this perfect aligned and because we are generating txt files which are then pasted into the template uh, which looks like this when we try to compile this generated file this will look bad because okay let's get terminal size so import os os get terminal size so these are terminal size and then echo Okay, and then let's run. The preprocessing takes uh, very long, and then that's uh, why we are even making that because it takes much more time than generating CPP, which is like two times faster, I think. Okay, so it is generating, and uh, we can compile this first file. So G sources bad apple zero zero dot CPP, and this looks like this with color. I didn't color in the video because it was piped to the some script, but. Uh, this is how it looks and uh, as you can see this doesn't look very well yeah so we need to use the a separate script which is buffer.py and it just reads terminal size again it takes the frame time which is 30 fps and then just uh, reads seven lines because that's how much uh, a gcc error message uh, contains we have error message some template actual frame and more and uh, more stuff and we are just reading seven lines uh, making this into a single variable and then write out to std out uh, at once so that it will look like actual animation whoa so it seems that uh, this is prints underline before errors if they are like too short or short enough so we need to make terminal size big enough like terminal big enough so and then we can play the animation